are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. So we just got done worshiping and it was a song called I Love The Way. Does anybody remember what that's about? It's about how we love the way that God made us. So who made you? God made me. Good job, my friends. Well, for those of you who don't recognize me, my name is Miss Sarah and I am so excited that we get to read a true story from our Bible today. So we started our story in the book of Genesis and we learned about how God made us and God made everything. How exciting is that? And last week, you learned about how you are so important to God that he even knows every number of hairs on your head. Can you count all the number of hairs on your head? I can't. We are so important to God that he knows that, and that is amazing. So, we are going to do our memory verse that you have been practicing. So, if you can stand up, we're going to do that together. Okay? Ready? I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139.14. Okay, my friends, let's do that together one more time. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139.14. Good job, my friends. Okay, well, God loves you so much that he made you. And we're going to talk about that today. And so I have a little basket of things that's going to help us, all right? So, God loves you with his whole... Does anybody know what this is? It's a heart, right? God loves you with his whole heart. That's a whole lot of love, isn't it? Well, it gets even better than that because God made everyone in the whole world. He made you and he made me. And God loves everyone in the whole, what is this? World. How cool is that? No matter where you go in the world, God will still love you. Another thing that God did, because he loves us so much, is he gave us something. He gave us a... Anybody know what this is? What did God give us? A gift, right? A present. God gave us a gift, and this was a special gift, and it was the best gift of all. Can anybody tell me what that gift was? That gift was Jesus. If you said Jesus, you're right. God gave us Jesus because he loved us so much. That's so cool. All right, my friends. I want to do something so special and so fun with you right now. So I need you to repeat after me, okay? This is going to help us remember how much God loves us. So, repeat after me. God loves the world so much that he gave us Jesus. Okay, let's do that one more time. God loves the world so much that he gave us Jesus. All right, I think we need to do it one more time, friends, just so we can get it. God loves the world so much that he gave us Jesus. Good job, my friends, and I hope you remember that because Jesus is so, so special. God gave us his son, which is Jesus, and Jesus wants to be your friend forever. In our Bible, in John 3, 16, it says, God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son. And who's God's son? Jesus, right. Good job, my friends. So, I want you to listen really, really close now. So put on your good listening ears because I want to tell you something and I never, ever want you to forget this, okay? So, let's bring our pointer fingers back out. Can you do this? Okay. Now point at yourself. God made you. God loves you so much. And he gave you Jesus 
to be your friend forever. Give me two thumbs up if you got that. Okay, now I wanna see if you really got it. Ready? Who made you? God made me. Good job, my friends. And who loves you? God loves you. And who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Well, it sounds to me like you've got that. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes and let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for how much you love us. We thank you that you came to this earth as a gift to us and that you want to be our friend forever. I pray that we would remember that God made us and he loves us so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Good job, my friends. It is so, so important that we remember how much God loves us. And one way that you can do that is with our connection activity. So, I want you to have somebody in your family cut out a heart, okay? And then you're going to write God, me, and Jesus. Because God made you and me, and he gave us Jesus. And they love us so much. And then what you're going to do is you're going to decorate your heart. You can color it and do whatever you want to make it really pretty. And then you're going to cut it into three sections. Kind of like a puzzle. And then after you have all your pieces, you can put your puzzle together as you talk about the Bible verse. For God so loved the world, the world, which is you and me and everybody, God loved the whole world, you can put those together, that he sent his one and only son, which is Jesus. So as you practice that and you learn about that, you can put your heart together and remember that God loved the world so much that he sent his son Jesus. All right, my friends, I hope you have fun doing that. And I'm so glad that you could join me today as we learned who, more about who made us. All right, one last time before we leave. Who made you? God made me. We'll see you next time, friends.